What's up Guardians and welcome to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be continuing my series uh, on the one man's trash. Uh, basically what I do in this series, for those of you who have not seen any of them yet, or are maybe new to the channel, essentially what I do is I take a blue rarity weapon or two and uh, use them in the crucible and, and talk about how they may actually not be too bad. And uh, in this video I'm going to be covering the uh, stranger's rifle. And uh, the stranger's rifle I, honestly is a fantastic PvP weapon. Does 33 damage to the head, 22 to the body. So uh, this is a great weapon considering that it does, I mean it has full auto. So uh, this is a lot of DPS in a short amount of time. So if you can land all your shots, man, you can be dropping guys left and right with this weapon. And uh, 21 in the mag isn't a huge uh, amount of ammo per magazine, but uh, it's, it's certainly sufficient to get, you know, two kills before you have to reload. So this weapon, just to give you an idea, I mean, this gun is highly competitive. I uh, recently did a scrimmage against uh, Triple Wreck and some of his guys, and a couple of them were actually using the Stranger's Rifle in a scrimmage because we'd, we'd ruled out exotic uh, weapons. So uh, that's, I mean, that's how good this gun can be. And so uh, I actually don't have this weapon anymore on my main or on my account. So what I ended up doing is um, I'm going to kind of share one of my secrets here. Sometimes when I'm not feeling like being social, I, I play on my, uh, my wife's uh, account. So uh, this is, you'll notice the name is Girl on a Hippo. And I, I didn't borrow this footage from anybody. This is, this is me playing on my wife's account. And uh, you might say, because I've had this before, people have said, well, well, then that's not really fair because the matchmaking is pairing you up against easier people. So everything's going to look more OP. Uh, that's not necessarily the case because my wife doesn't play uh, competitive Destiny. She doesn't play PvP at all. So I'm, I'm the only person who plays Destiny competitively on this account. So all the matchmaking is still catered to uh, my skill level. So uh, anyways, so that's why you're going to see it's not my account doing the uh, killing here. But one of the things that I, I, I enjoy about playing on a different account is that I can really just play no hold barred. Uh, I'm not really super concerned about my stats or my KD. I just go ham. So anyways, uh, in this video I'm going to be using the stranger's rifle. You'll see how effective it is in PvP. That guy kept waving. I think it's just because this is this is kind of a funny experiment. When you play on an account that identifies itself in the gamer tag as a female, I get a lot more people. They wave at me, they send friend requests and messages afterwards. And I think it's just because guys are like, "Oh my gosh, a girl gamer in the wild." But uh, anyways, that's neither here nor there. So don't send any friend requests or anything with this account. This is my wife's. Please respect that. But uh, anyways. You'll see that this gun is really just shredding people in PvP. I'm, I'm juggling back and forth between that weapon and the Black Suros. And this shotgun is, I mean, this is the way shotguns should be in my opinion. It's, the range on it really isn't that great. It's not a one-hit kill guarantee. I mean, you really have to get right up close and personal uh, for this weapon to be effective. So uh, it was a lot of fun using that weapon. You might have some success running with that weapon as well, depending on uh, what rolls you got. But uh, having this combination of the Stranger's Rifle with the uh, the Black Suros, I, I found I really enjoyed. Uh, it's two blue weapons, people are kind of underestimating you, but um, if you play really aggressively, then it can pay off in some pretty huge dividends. And you'll see here, running and gunning, I mean, I'm, I'm able to throw supers back to back and uh, recharge my super energy pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, teammates were also super, and so they're dropping orbs. This was, a, in all honesty, this was a, a match that was kind of strange in the sense that it, there was a lot of teamwork going on and we were all randos so guys were uh, timing their supers really well staggering them dropping orbs in good places and um you don't really see that too often especially with a couple of these guys on my team were uh, kind of low level but um anyways just had a whole lot of fun running with this weapon and you might notice occasionally that um that i'm getting ammo back in the magazine strangely and that's um, that's because the other skill on this weapon, other than full auto, is uh, it's called rewind. It makes it so that when you uh, miss a shot, it's got a chance to uh, put ammo directly back into the magazine, which is awfully nice. So, anyways, I want I wanted to also kind of take a second just to talk about these new subclasses. We've got the Sunbreaker coming out for the uh, Titan, which is a ranged super, which looks amazingly awesome. It's chucking these uh, hammers, I just think that's so fitting of a Titan. 
Um, uh, what a, what a great idea! And to chuck these things uh, in a, in, a, in a ranged you know way, that's going to be great in PvP. It's going to give uh, Titans a, a really competitive subclass to play in PvP. Uh, really looking forward to seeing that. You've got the Night Stalker, which uh, is a more of a support role for the uh, Hunter, which is which is great. And honestly, this is one of the ones I'm most excited about, even though my Hunter isn't my main. But this idea of being able to tether enemies together and to suppress them simultaneously with a with a bow, I mean, that's, that sounds amazing in uh, 3v3 scenarios. Um, what, a, what a great way to give your, your team the edge in 3v3. I think that's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to playing with that and seeing how that plays out. And then finally, you've got the Stormcaller for the, um, for the, the Warlock, which... Looks <laughs> looks pretty much just everyone's saying this. It pretty much looks like being a Sith Lord shooting Enemy lightning at your fingers. Zone. Be able to chain that in between enemies. I'm really excited to see how that's going to play out. And then the the warlock also has a ranged lightning melee uh, attack ability, which looks sweet as well. So I, I mean, maybe I'm so stoked about these. Uh, feel free to let me know in the, in the comment section which class you're looking forward to playing the most and uh, and why. So for me personally, I think even though I, I main a warlock, I think I'm most excited about the, uh, the Night Stalker support class. So feel free to let me know your thoughts on the subclasses and also your thoughts on the uh, Stranger's Rifle. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take it easy.